Habari zenu wa Kenya wenzangu. Hello my fellow Kenyans, I'm Gakonga the coach and the pioneer of visual of football Kenya. Habari zenu wa Kenya wenzangu. Leo hii ninataka tuzungumzie vile pamoja tutaokoa mpira wetu wa Kenya. Please let me be the last person to give the message of hope. Let me be the last person to prophesy the death of Kenyan football. Let me be the person who will lead to where lead to where the hope is. Kwa sababu I want to take you back to 2010. Dede Ayo from Ghana, when they came uh, to Kenya, he said talents are there in Kenya, but the system is not allowing Kenya as a country to nurture his talents, to nurture those talents. Now, we have seen um, we have seen uh, Sande Olise, the Nigerians in Nigeria international football player. Now I'm a Kenya. He has given the same message. He has said there is so much talent in Kenya, but we are not yeah we are not uh, we are not enabling those talents to grow so we must listen to all these people and i call them prophets and messengers those people who have come to kenya to give us message and they have already told us what we should do is to make our football enable the development of youth so that we can have a lot of uh, youth players so that we can have a lot of opportunities where our youths are involved remember uh, I've seen JJ Okocha in Kenya uh, on TV same, giving the same message to Kenyans. I've seen uh, Thierry Henry, he came uh, just recently with the uh, center there to do the Guinness uh, program. Yeah, he, uh, you know, the, the beer company, the, the, the Guinness, he was there doing the program. Yeah, and then he was on different TV stations giving the same message about African football, about Kenyan football, and what we need to do to uh, to make it. I saw Lobe Fowler, the former uh, Liverpool player, giving the same message. I saw um, Rio Ferdinand just recently again on Kenyan TV giving the same message what we, what we should do for our Kenyan football. Our Kenyan football now, the time is right for a Kenyan football evolution. Our youths cannot wait any further. Jeshi imechoka. The youths wamechoka. Promises and promises and promises. Yeah, promises and lies that never come to be. Jameni, we saw FKF last team called uh, Team Change, this team of Nick Mwendo. Please, I want you to to give me the achievements of this team. Now four years are down, four years have passed. Tell me the achievement of team change, that team of Nick Mwendo. But again, I, want, I don't want to focus on individuals. I want to focus on the system. The system of Kenyan football is rotten to the core. It is not allowing enough participation. It is not allowing enough opportunity. It is not giving the youths where, what they want when it comes to football. I saw uh, Arsenal coaches in Kenya saying the same thing. I saw uh, Everton coaches in Kenya saying the same thing. I saw um, Brentford coaches. They were somewhere in, in Saikimau uh, at an academy helping to coach there. They gave the same message. So here the message is consistent. The, the message is um, is consistent. It is the same message I have been uh, giving. It is the same uh, gospel I have been preaching. But the time has come now where the talking must end and the actions must begin. I have said my fellow Kenyans, I have developed Vision Total Football Kenya for seven years. Now this is why I'm sharing with you through social through social me media so that you understand what is Vision Total Football Kenya and what it stands for. Vision Total Football Kenya is a revolution vehicle. Vision Total Football Kenya carries the change for Arawa Kenyan football. We are no longer going to wait. The entire football in Kenya will change. The entire system will change. The way the elections are conducted, the way the, cl the, 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 the clubs are run, the way the Premier League is managed, the way the Federation is managed, everything will change. I've said again and again, we have nothing in our Kenyan football to reform. We must restart our Kenyan football. A new beginning is just very, very near. Yeah. There is a new hope for our Kenyan football. Please, I want to be the last prophet who, br who is bringing this message about hope and change. Let us now uh, start actions. And I have said again, next year, next year, around April, I'm going to give the way forward how actions are going to take place. This is not rhetoric. 
these are not stories these are not uh, daydreams this is the situation the reality is here with us i said before again five years ago if we do nothing to our kenyan premier league it is going to die today i keep saying that's the reality there's no single club that is not uh, struggling in our Kenyan uh, Premier League. The Federation is singing the same song. Today, I'm receiving so many messages from the grassroots. Today, I received a message from uh, Mandela, somebody who told me they have never heard of FKF since 1979. What to ako Mandela? How just kia kuhusu FKF? They have never seen FKF election. Nimepata message nyingine kutoka Western, county moja ya Western huko. They said they have never seen FKF election. Mea kanenda, mea karudi. Wale watu wa hao wameniambia kuwa FKF representatives are there, but they do nothing. Ni pesa wanakula tu. I'm not making these stories, my my my. My fellow Kenyans, I'm here in London, but I understand the Kenyan situation well than most Kenyans. This is why I started developing Vision Total Football Kenya. This is why I'm so confident with, uh, with the vision and the way forward. Once I share everything with every Kenyan, you are, with every Kenyan, you are going to be shocked. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to take you uh, in a journey that you that you that you never believed you will hear that you never believed that it is possible yes we can i'm saying in five years time you will see total change in our kenyan football but that is going to need dedication it is not a, an overnight change it is going to need dedication it is going to need people who are not uh, who who do not have a uh, uh, self interest yeah selfishness ambao wanataka kujiendeleza wao tu eventually everyone will benefit from our kenyan football but we must now shelve our self interest and see how we can develop our kenyan football holistically so that everyone can have a chance and going forward we cannot just focus on talents only and those who are talented only because this is what happens in kenyan football everyone is talking about talents but remember we have talented people who will go on to playing we have people who love football who will go on to become fans coaches referees managers of football everyone must take part in our kenyan football anyone who loves football must take part this is where we must go where everyone has an opportunity to develop because the reason why we have empty stadiums in kenya because we keep focusing on, on talents we do not uh, we, we do not allow anyone else to get involved yeah and this is what we must do everyone must be involved UNEMP, politician soldier dc uh, county commander whoever you are a priest Football is for everyone. Let us see this big picture, how we can make everyone get involved in our Kenyan football. And the opportunities are going to open. Yeah, Football economy is going to drive our nation. Our generation is so, uh, sorry, our population is so youthful. Let us do something to these youths. Let us stop telling them that that we are going to help them buy car washing machines. Let us go, let's, let us stop telling them we are going to build a, uh, um, is a uh, youth center so they can they, they can show cinemas and charge people let us give our youths real ambitions where some youths will get their connection to play in europe and elsewhere where other youths will play our kenyan football we are going to make our kenyan football uh you know be worthwhile you and a pesa why why can't a kenyan a kenyan player be you, you know play in kenya and be successful why can we not have a people from other places coming to play in Kenya. It is because we have killed our Kenyan football. And that's where I'm coming from, that we must we must develop our football entirely. I want to see a private academies growing. I want to see academy attached to football clubs growing. Every single professional club in Kenya must have a serious academy from the from the age of from the age of seven all the way to the age of twenty one. This will happen. I have seen a so many interest so, so many interested parties that want to help kenyan football even here in europe but what they keep telling me is that kenyan football when you hear about it it's all about corruption what football are you telling us about in kenya most people here in europe they are saying they are willing to invest in kenyan football but they want to see a better system they want to see a football that what's its name so when i talk about this kenyan football and vision total football kenya is a well researched vision it is a well developed vision it is a roadmap to the future of our kenyan football we must shelf yeah individual interests let us develop our football together and then 
everyone will everyone will benefit from it because what i find at the moment is that so many kenyans yeah uh, so many Kenyans have individual interest. They just want to do something that's going to benefit them and their family rather than the, so, rather than the society and the football at large. But there, are those, but there are those who are so passionate about football and they want to take part in developing Kenyan football. Those few like-minded people, we are going to come together and make Ire Jeshi Itaokuwa Mpirawetu wa Kenya. Our football in Kenya is due for a revolution. Football evolution in Kenya, it is a reality. It is imminent. Ni kama ire Noah Zak and the flood. The flood became imminent. Now the revolution is imminent. It is going to take place in Kenya. Wa Kenya wezangu, continue supporting Vision Total Football Kenya. And those who are asking me when are actions going to start, I have given you a deadline. Next year is a year of actions. Wa Kenya wezangu, continue to support Vision Total Football Kenya. Continue to share with anyone who is interested in liberating Kenyan football. Talk to your brothers, talk to your sisters, talk to your friends. We together, I believe in togetherness, where we are all going to succeed together. Wa Kenya wezangu, once again, if you are listening to me through my YouTube, Huko, remember to subscribe. If you're only listening to me through the Facebook, please share, like, and comment. Once again, until next time, I live in peace. I'm gone. Kakonga the coach and the pioneer of Vision Total Football Kenya. Love you all.